Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm so excited to bring you the review and swatches of the Latte 2 palette by Dominique Cosmetics. When I saw this palette online, I knew instantly I had to have it. I do actually have every single one of her palettes and I quite enjoy them. I do have a review for each one. I will have those uh, listed down below so you guys can go through. If there's another palette that maybe catches your eye, then you can kind of check that out and see if it's going to be right for you. So. With that being said, uh, this palette runs for $42. Now you can buy this on DominiqueCosmetics.com or Sephora. If you purchase through her website, then she automatically donates $2 per palette uh, to go back towards cancer research, um, which I think is absolutely excellent. I know that her grandmother had passed away of stage four cancer and that just, uh, it, it really sucks when somebody passes away. But um, you know, I, I decided to go ahead and purchase mine through her website that way uh, the two dollars can be donated and normally I do go through Sephora but since it was a special cause I definitely wanted to contribute in that way um, so this is the packaging right here I think it is so stunning I love the gold um, I love how it has like the coffee spill on the front on the back it says latte too it shows you all the ingredients and it has the shades and the colors on the back as well so keeping up with the box you have the palette. The palette looks exactly the same when it comes to the coffee spill up front. You can actually feel the little bumps right here. I think it's super cute. I love the writing on here. It just looks very luxurious and I don't know, just something about it just it draws me in. Now when you open up the palette, you do get a full size mirror. Now this mirror is actually pretty special because she put a special uh, message on it. It says, every day is a fresh start. I love that she put a little positive message in the mirror. Um, it's not too big and it's not too small. Something that you can read while you do your makeup and I think it's just, it's, it'd be a good way to start off your day, you know, just reading something that's positive and uplifting. So I thought that was a really cute touch. I hope that she continues to do that with other palettes. I think that'd be a great addition uh, to her palettes. So these are the shades right here. Aren't they so pretty? <laughs> I think they are so gorgeous. Now this just screamed my name, you know, I love neutrals and I love a pop of color. So very, very excited about this. All right. So before we get into thoughts, I want to go ahead and do swatches for you guys. Now I will be doing swatches on my arm. I have light skin. I was also able to pull my husband aside and do swatches on his arm and he has a dark skin tone. So you guys will be able to see the difference between two different skin tones. So let's go ahead and dive into that and I'll be back with all my thoughts. Okay, so here are all your swatches. The colors are very, very pretty. We're gonna go through them in just a second. Now I know I already talked about the price. Uh, we're gonna talk about the size of the palette. She actually has two different size palettes. Uh, so the Latte 2, the Lemonade, the regular Latte palette, they're all the same size. And then you have the Berries and Cream, the Celestial, and the uh, Rustic Glam. They are a little bit bigger. So you get, I think, 12 in here and 10 in here. Um, now I do prefer the smaller size, even though I get two less shadows, I think it's just a little bit easier to hold. Um, all the palettes are light enough to where I can actually hold the palette and do my makeup, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, this, I don't know, it just sits more comfortably for me. So on my eyes today, I actually have Frothy, 
uh, cafecito, uh, iced coffee, frappe, and strawberry milk. I do like the way that this look turned out. I think it's very pretty. Definitely something I can throw on to work, not have to really um, worry about taking up too much time and they blend beautifully. So I really, really enjoy these colors. Frothy is an absolutely perfect shade for a lot of different things. It's a perfect shade to set your eye primer with. Um, I find that it covers all my redness on my eyes. I really, really like that. It's perfect for a brow bone highlight, um, inner corner. I just, I really, really enjoy this color. I think it is so beautiful. Um, now, Strawberry Milk is a beautiful crease shade and also it is a beautiful blush. I know she said in her video that you can actually use this shade as a blush and I did and it was gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it was so gorgeous. It's perfect for like spring and I love that this is a multifunctional uh, color. I really, really enjoy this one. Um, I would hope that maybe she would put this in like a face palette in the future. That would be really nice <laughs> because I love this shade so much. Uh, now the frat bake, I actually have, I don't know if I have it anymore, but I had it in my inner corner. Uh, but my, my eyes have been really watery, so I just kind of been messing with it. But it is a beautiful inner corner shade, beautiful brow bone, um, and it's just really, really pretty. I love it. The iced coffee, oh my gosh, it creates like this perfect brown smoky lid that gives you that little bit of shimmer. Ugh, I don't have anything like it. I really enjoy that shade. It's just beautiful. Uh, Cafecito, I also have on my outer corner. It actually pairs really well with strawberry milk. I was a little worried at first because this seems to be a little bit more like a brownish red, um, but the it really works very well with the strawberry milk. I love the pairing of those two colors. Actually, I could probably do a look with uh, Cafecito, Strawberry Milk, and Frothy as a lid shade. I think that would be really, really pretty. Um, <clears throat> Now I have done other looks using uh, coffee beans and drizzle. I think they are so beautiful. I have no problems with any of those shades. But there are some minor setbacks with this palette, in my opinion. <clears throat> okay, uh, this Cafe Don Leche shade is really pretty, but it's just another extremely light shade. Um, I wish more than anything, maybe I had a lighter tan shade. Yes, of course, I can pull from another palette. That's that's not the, the issue for me. I just don't feel, with having frothy and strawberry milk, I don't feel that um, it's what I need when I do my looks, but everybody does their makeup differently, so it doesn't really, it just doesn't suit my needs. I would prefer a light tan shade, something uh, lighter than these two. I think that would be a lot better for me personally. I still think it's a nice shade. I just don't see me using it a whole bunch because I have these other two. Blonde Roast is a pretty shade. I really didn't have any issues with it. Now, matcha. <laughs> I wanted this shade to work so bad. I had this look in my head um, of this goal. I don't know. I had this look in my head that I wanted to do uh, with put, putting matcha on the bottom to give me that pop of color on the lower lash line and it just didn't work. I was so upset because the color just, I, I don't know if it's the fact that I didn't have any foundation or concealer on for it to kind of grip onto. Um, but it faded. It faded almost instantly. Now, I did try and film this review um, previously. I did not like the way that the footage turned out. I kind of wore this wig because I was just feeling all kinds of crazy. And um, <laughs> I ultimately decided to scrap it. But what I'm going to do for you guys, because I did do a close-up of what the shade looked like when I tried to apply it to my lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and insert that for you guys because so you can see just how bad it was I hate saying that because it just it breaks my heart um, but the shade really did just disappear and it did not look good and it just it you'll see you'll see so I'm gonna go ahead roll clip I wish it had better staying power so I'm gonna have to work with that and see if it's just the foundation or if it's if it just needs something to stick to other than just my skin. Okay, so as you can see, the green did not look that good. So that kind of breaks my heart. 
Um, I saw Angela Bright. She used it as liner on her lower lash line. Um, maybe that got to stay. Now she did pack it on top of a different liner, so it did bring it out more. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to have to play that with, around with that one a little bit more to see if maybe I can get it to work. Uh, so other than that, I think everything else in here is really, really pretty. <laughs> now, her palettes are known for kick up and fallout. Uh, there is a ton of kick up in her palettes. That is never a downside for me because I have learned to work with my makeup brush. And I just kind of take my brush and I lightly go around all the kick up that has been um, brought up and I tap that and I use that as my next uh, dip in the pan so I never really have any product that is wasted. That seems to be okay for me especially when you do have a palette that gives you a lot of kick up. Um, when I was using the shade uh, Ice Coffee I did have a lot of fallout so I do recommend doing your eyes first and then your foundation last but like I said that is not a deal breaker for me. I've learned to work around that. I've learned to kind of you know use the excess so nothing is really wasted but, but I never really go through eyeshadows like that anyway because I am a makeup lover I do buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes it's like my number one thing uh, <laughs> but just do your eyes before you do your face and I don't think you will have any issues now this is your latte 2 palette and this is the original latte palette so side by side uh, there are the two palettes there is definitely differences now even looking at them in the pan uh, right here in front of my eyes, there is absolutely nothing that looks the same. I do like the fact that they are all different. Um, there is no duplicate shade, so I am happy to have both. <laughs> oh, they are just so pretty. I love all the colors. I love her palettes. Like she has such a great formula. I've come up with some of my best looks using her palettes and I'm just, I'm in heaven every time I do use them. Definitely get, you're going to have to be the judge on this one. I can't sit here and say, uh, yes, you need this palette or no, you don't because yes, I love it, but it does have its flaws. I don't think it's a complete palette in my personal opinion. Um, like I said, you know, this color right here just needs to be changed for me. And then this one didn't work. So that's two shades that I'm down, but everything else is completely beautiful. So I'm still happy with my purchase, but I can't sit here and tell you, you need this palette. So uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. I hope I provided you guys enough information that you can make the decision on your own. <laughs> um, after all, you know, um, makeup is a personal preference anyway at the end of the day. But every other palette that she has came out with, I 100% stand behind. I love her palettes. I think they are so stunning and I say you definitely need these in your life. Alright guys, so that is it for this review. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.